Okay, hello everyone. I've decided to do a quick another video um, about Touch OSC and Isadora, and I'd like to show you this. I'm just using my phone for this one because it's a little bit quicker. I've decided to show you something about how we can make this timeline be represented on here. So basically, what I want to do is this to move along as this video. It's struggling with focus a little bit here. Yeah, as that video moves along I want that to be represented in the iPad. So what I've done is I've got the OSC transmit I've already found out the IP address um, which is shown in the other video. I've also found out what this is called which is on here in the file. So this is the touch OSC that I've created I know that it says here forward slash one forward slash fader two I've typed that in here okay and basically, it all links up. I've worked out the port. Again, I showed that in the last video, 5001. Just to recap, you can find out that by clicking the I button. Okay, it's already connected to this IP address. And incoming and outgoing port, we're looking for the incoming signal, okay, which is 5001. And the IP address is there at the bottom. Okay, right, so. All I'm going to do is link this position to the output and this starts firing away. Now notice that that's going from 0 to 100 because this Adora works from 0 to 100. So this is obviously being represented here. So that is actually transmitting data. And if you look down here, the fader is now right at the end and it's not doing anything. Um, this is because we've told it to do that. <laughs> Basically, OSC works from 0 to 1, so we need to scale it. And here it's going 0 to 100. So if I just type in 1 there and press return, you will now see, if I hold this up, it's a bit difficult with the light, but basically that is moving along very slowly in the same position as that. So as you can see, it is moving along there. Um, you have to trust me that it's doing it. <laughs> so you can see it's about halfway now, and that's about halfway. So it's scrolling around nicely. Now I've got another little actor here because what I've found is if you delete this line, which is backspace, and then reconnect it again, It is now going 0 to 100, and that has obviously gone right back up to the top. Okay, I'm not too sure if this is a, an error or something to do with the formatting of OSC, I'm presuming the latter. But, very simply, scale value, if we wire this up. Okay, that's currently scaled 100%, but if we turn that to 1, it's going to make all the values go from between 0 to 100. And now we're back to where we were. So that's really handy because it scales the value by 1% and pulls all the numbers from 0 to 100 to 0 to 1. Okay? Um, and that's how you do it.